And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Vi. That's right, we're going to be playing Twisted Fate and Vi together with our latest donation deck. Um, lots of really good cards in here. We have a, a deck that um, can play, has a ton of card advantage and can play a really good late game um, and also has really good removal. You know, we have our Mystic Shots, Make It Rain, Get Excited, Thermogenic Beam, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, our champions, Twisted Fate and Vi are definitely what our deck's all about. Um, uh, we got some some spicy ones. At the, like at, at the top end, we got an Augmented Experimenter in here. They can uh, be pretty awesome if we need a removal spell plus a draw three to help level up this Twisted Fate super fast um, if we are running out of cards. And even if you do have like two or three cards in hand, it's okay to play this as, you know, it's kind of like rummaging if you need to, especially if you need to get um, the removal spell in. <clears throat> Jaw Hunters kind of acts as a removal spell that creates an, an additional sea monster for us. Four mana slot, just one Yordle Grifter, three Sprayfin with uh, not having a ton of bilge water for Yordle Grifter. We're basically, you know, we're pretty close to half and half, well, almost 60-40. But still, that'd be Yordle Grifter missing a lot. And Sprayfin has great targets. Um, you know, we have Thermogenic Beam, Make It Rain, Mystic Shot, Pilfered Goods. Those are some great targets for Yordle Grifter and the Get Excited. But there's also one Rummage, we'll maybe hit Rummage, um, that can just, uh, you know, discard some cards, draw some cards if we need to, again, uh, level up our Twisted Fate. But it's not something that we really want to focus on. We don't really have cards we want to discard it too much. But they can get generated. Um, all right, so yeah, let's give this a try. We're going to play Twisted Fate and Vi together. Twisted Vi. All right, we're going to go play five games over in Ranked like we always do. And we'll see how we do. Okay, facing Yasuo for our first game. These three cards are all really good, so I want to keep them, but we don't really necessarily have things to turn on Plunder. So the Jacket Butcher is a good draw. Turning on Plunder may be a problem for our deck, as far as Black Market Merchant and Pilfered Goods go. Tales fool you. Treasures of the ages. Two mana shadow assassin. Um I kinda wanna thermogenic beam this thing. Let's keep throwing on a beam. Yeah, Bilgewater music. Great. It's good, of course, to get Twisted Fate and play as early as possible, so we can start drawing cards. And to level it up. And there it is. Attempting just to go Vi afterwards. Now who's got the upper hand? 
Um. All right, pass. I know the twist of fate had a safe attack uh, for just everything in play, but of course they could use some kind of toughness pumping spell to eat the twisted fate, and I don't want to risk that. For the right coin. Okay, so I need to kill that thing. We'll have our thermogenic beam. Let's try to eat that. Pick on some of your own speed. You poor thing. Tell it to the fists. Fair enough. Fair enough. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Love it. That was the exact card I wanted to hit. That will level up Twisted Fate. Oh no! Should have just attacked. Here's our chance. Should have just attacked. So we can do the pick a card, level up Twisted Fate that way. This next turn. Okay, well they just surrendered. They're like, level up Twisted Fate, that's it. It's kind of too much value. Geez, uh, Spooky Karma. Um, I I haven't really played Spooky Karma since the patch, but I know that I know that it definitely got worse after the patch. Not only with Karma costing one more mana, but then also Deep Meditation costing another mana, and then also just kind of the rest of the metagame being a more mid-range, powerful threat-oriented metagame where um, the Spooky Karma is really good against the fast aggro decks with all the life gain and. Um, quick removal, like, like Withering Whale, Vile Feast, like those kind of cards aren't as good. There's not nearly as much one health things running around. Um, Ruination's better. I mean, so basically, I think that I think if you're playing that Spooky Karma deck, I think you have to kind of adjust um, adjust accordingly. And. But I, I haven't I haven't really tried that out myself. You name it, I'll lick it. Hey Dewan, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thanks for stopping by. Mystic shot. Save me, Luke. Ow. The order rewards its faith. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. They cannot hide. 
So I think I'll play Yordle Grifter instead of Sprayfin. Well, one, because all of my... You know, like, we, we have all the spell mana here. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Yay. But two, because it's a 3-3. Three, three. So, you know, like, it's it's more likely that it does damage and turns on Pilfer Goods. Um, I guess now we have a warning shot anyway. This is where Rummage can come into play and help us out. Keep up, keep up. We get some extra cards we don't really need. Excited, discard a thermogenic beam. Beauty charms while claws take hold. Okay. Not bad. Alone, we see things as they truly are. I don't know. I don't know if I went to Jaw Hunters and Challenge or not. Use a gotcha. I may want this gotcha to take out a do have ten cards. May want that to take out a Heimerdinger. Or at least attempt. Do have to get rid of something from hand. Please just don't play Heimerdinger, like ever. Swift and that card is really good. Heimerdinger, that is. Never 
lost a fair game on the playground. Eyes open. All right, let's get Twisted Fate in here. Start drawing cards. So I can draw four more cards at burst speed right now. So need to use the, that uh, warning shot to turn this thing to a 3-3 three, three, so I can attack with it easier. Oh, that's true. Deny would stop Will of Ionia later. That's true. What seems to be the problem? Oh. Problem is I don't have an answer to this thing right now. Okay, I could bounce. We could go double mystic shot. It's not likely to work. I need to keep the Spirit's Refuge to protect Twisted Fate. Can't really play other things right now. So once I level up Twisted Fate, then I can have red card, you know, during combat, take out all these turrets. So we're a 5 out of 8 now. All right, so if I go progress day, levels up, but then I only have four mana, so I'm not going to be able to really gold card. Uh, if I go Sprayfin, I go Sprayfin, then Rummage, and level up. And then we'll have, that's five mana. We have 12 right now, so we'll have an additional seven. We have to draw one mana card. May not have a one mana card. You gotta trust your instincts. I could also just Will of Ionia bounce the Vi though. Go with the flow. So we'll rummage away the sea monster. And what? Uh, Mega Rain? Street. This 
so small, but she ain't lacking courage. Her eyes open. So this means that I still get to play my two Mystic Shots and get the gold card to stun Vi. That's going to be challenging Twisted Fate, most likely. They can still have a removal spell to kill Twisted Fate. They have that as well. Which I can't stop that. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe I should just be Mystic Shotting the Heimerdinger. I don't know. I'm kind of just going upstairs. But yeah, I should, I should have one of them kill the Heimerdinger. I don't know why I didn't really think of that. I was just even thinking about, like, the turrets and stuff. I'd, yeah, I should have one of those go after Heimerdinger. Yeah, de definitely one of those should, gone, should have gone after Armored here. Um, let's see. This will draw four cards. Kind of too many cards. Don't really have the ability to do, like, one damage to them. Any options? Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Soak it in. Hey, Matthew. No, nobody's really talked about it too much. Uh, one person said that it is um, kind of addicting, but yeah, no, we're gonna be playing Monster Train afterwards for the first time. Trying that game out. Always got time for the wrong, ma'am. Right. You and me both. Something for all of you. So they're at five. Got all these attackers. All or nothing. The dead don't need riches. Go and harvest it. And I have a Spirit's Refuge and a Will of Ionia available. They're going to be long dead before that matters. So GG, Twisted Vi, 2-0. Oh. Twisted Fate looking good with just kind of all this removal. Is it fate looking good? Hey, Slim Jim. No, I'm not. Got the Devourer from the Jaw Hunters. Jaw Hunters creates a random sea monster in hand, so that's how we had the Devourer. Playing against Timo Burn. Have not been seeing Timo Burn recently, so this is going to be a 
good matchup. Now, yeah, Jaw Hunters is worth it. Yeah. So let's see how we do against Timo Burn. Make it rain. All right, so obviously Make it rain can kill Legion Saboteur, but I can save a lot of damage by just playing Mist the Thermogenic Beam, and by a lot of damage, I mean three. So I can save three life by casting this. And I think I think that's worth it, even with Make it rain. I think just like that. You know, every life point matters. That's basically, you know, countering a get excited later. Basically. Hopefully they have another thing with one health for our Mega Rain. It's probably what they're debating on right now, thinking about how likely it is that I would have a Mega Rain. Hmm, no Mega Rain value. Well, you know, just regular one for one. Just mystic shot the salesman instead of trading jaw hunters for salesman because jaw hunters does a good job killing crimson disciple a little worried about transfusion though let us pass it's like attacking doesn't really do anything so they'd block with the old ones anyway We don't waste our mana. Pass. Here comes the punchline. I have my orders. Yeah, they definitely played around Make It Rain. <laughs> They're just definitely sitting on all those one health things. Transfusion. both our mystic shots. Going down to 12 right now, but they only got two cards left. Oh, 
Oh, I guess it happens sometimes. Just a little bug. It doesn't show that. Let me. There we go. A little bug sometimes, like the number doesn't show up correctly. do a lot of damage with this Vi. Which it could be like Mystic Shot this blocker, maybe Mystic Shot another blocker, Thermogenic Beam another blocker, hit him for like 10. Some kind of alarm going on. I don't know if y'all can hear that. This does mean that I'm, I'm opening myself up to Noxion Fervor without having those to be able to respond. They're down to five. And we got level up Vi. We basically just have to not take 12 direct damage. Um, not really much I can stop. Uh, yeah, you know, I can't stop direct damage, but. Alright, cool. We're gonna take 12 direct damage. And we're 3 0. And that's a knockout. And that's the knockout. Deck's feeling pretty pretty powerful so far. Deck's feeling pretty powerful. Twisted Vi. Alright, is this the Elite Deck again? Get our revenge on the Elite Deck. Possibly. Yeah, GG's. Um, no, I don't really have, like, a, an exact barrel control deck. No, not really. Alright, so Pickpocket just kind of trades with the Scythria. So just wait there. Like there's no, no need, no need to rush that trade. Um, charge? Discard Riptide Rex. Yeah, Freljord's probably my favorite region. I really like Noxus and Bilgewater also. Those are my top three favorite ones are uh, Freljord, Noxus, Bilgewater. Uh, probably be Freljord, Bilgewater, Noxus. I don't know, but yeah, those are the ones I definitely really like. Demotion. 
Because the card that turns on their whole deck... <laughs> Come on. Sure, Myst Mystic Shot would have been so much better to deal with that. Would have been so much better to deal with that. Here comes the punchline. All right, so with that, do I prefer Sejuani Bilgewater or Ash Noxus? Ash Noxus. Yeah, for me, I like the Ash Noxus deck more. I can go Twisted Fate red card. And then... Uh, now I have... Option of either going Black Market Merchant... And then Mystic Shot one of these. Or Mystic Shot one and Thermogenic Beam one and kill two of them before they like four Demacia. But then it's going to be really difficult for me to actually cast Black Market Merchant and get draw a card. I guess I draw the card. Uh, kind of rewarded, I guess. So I can, by doing this, I can still use Mystic Shot and respond to a Four Demacia and kill the others. So yeah, this is definitely the better line. Mystic shot them. Pilfered goods. But yeah, we should probably wait till next turn and um, Mystic shot them next turn and then Riptide Rex. Unfortunate. I guess I could just pull, just draw one card with Pilfer Goods. Maybe I should have just done that. Maybe I should have just played this to draw one. I'm just gonna waste all this mana. Please don't cast for Demacia. But 
they do cast four Demacia, I'm in trouble. I think, I think it makes a lot of sense to cast it on defense turn. I just played a Mystic Shot on them. I have eight mana. I think that makes a lot of sense. Visitation to tell. Yeah, I mean, I think it does make a lot of sense to do it. Courage, soldier. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. For king and country. I know Thermal Jank Beam on Garen would have been nice, but this is just the better line. This gets us seven cards for Twisted Fate. For duty. So now, round start. Twisted Fate levels up. Please be the burst speed spell. Dang it. I really could have yeah, used something. Game's heating up. Like could have used something to play to start getting some of these cards before combat. Okay, let's see. Block here, block here. Block here. Block there. Hopefully that's not lethal. And we can play, you know, like Jaw Hunters, Jagged Butcher, Thermogenic Beam, Kill the Garen. Definitely not out of the woods right now. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. As the serpentine. Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. Hmm. Best sea monster? That's like the worst sea, sea monster. Yeah, this is the... Yeah, depending on what board you play, you get different music. This is the Bilgewater theme. I wish I wish I could thermogenic beam and then go, and gold card kill the Garen, but that's just not how it works. Definitely want to get Garen out of here so they don't start, you know, they don't level up Garen and then start getting to attack a bunch. Okay, that could be good. Eh. 
No! Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, it's doing damage to them. Okay. Doesn't kill that thing, but it's okay. It's doing damage to them. Now we have certainly looked like we have turned a corner. But with these Demacia cards, you don't want to say... I don't want to say it's over. You never know, like an unyielding spirit here, and suddenly, visitations to tell. You know, everything's changed. Um. So I can't kill. I can't keep them from killing Twisted Fate. Concerta Strike continue to, continues to look really good. Well, I'm not killing this tough thing still. So it had to have three things to go to it to kill it. Down to 11. Potentially down to 2 after this attack. What else they got? I don't really play in other stuff. They want me to attack with Jaw Hunters first? In a long path to get you. Take that trade. Good trade. My heart and sword for Demacia. For Demacia. You're only a six five. Don't even trade that profitably. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. With Garen. This is how we died to this deck last time, is that they just played a Silverwing Vanguard, take my blockers, and kill me with a Garen. That's exactly how we died last time. I think I have to play Gotcha here. This is my safest play. Hey, what's up, Metal World Gaming? How's it going? Thank you so much for the sub. Our first sub of the day. How's the Vime Redinger going? Let's see. No, we missed. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, th thank you. Hey, not sir. Yeah, so Metal World, as, as it, talked about, if you if you watched the, ugh, this is scary. If you watched our Vimerdinger video from yesterday, I talked about how that's I used uh, Metal World Gaming's 
um, list, and uh, they do a, like just a wonderful job with that deck. Play it all the time. Um, you know, high ranking and masters, but also just take new accounts, start them out back out at iron, and then uh, replay them to masters and everything. There's not much difference between going to two and going to one. Radiant Strike comes to mind. Yeah, Radiant Strike comes to mind. But besides that, I mean, maybe it's too risky. Yeah, we're gonna be trying to Rex. kill these and then yeah and, and so yeah definitely recommend if you if you play Vimerdinger yourself uh def absolutely check out Metal World Gaming's Twitch YouTube do a wonderful job on that and I think you said that you're gonna start doing a, a deep dive on the deep deck right like isn't that the next next deck that you're gonna be really covering substantially All right, we are four and zero oh with Twisted Vi. Got our, um, got our payback on the Elite deck. Uh, today's Ez Karma. Okay, yesterday was deep. Okay, awesome. Uh, got our payback on that deck after it beat us earlier when we were playing Vladimir Sejuani. We're 4-0, and speaking of Ezreal Karma, here we go. So we'll keep one Jagged Butcher? No, let's keep both. And I guess I get rid of Yordle Grifter. I don't know, Yordle Grifter is good here too. Hmm. It's just this could get awkward. I'll keep this hand, but this could get really awkward if we start drawing higher cost stuff. Hopefully you draw, there we go, one and two mana. Or like uh, two and three mana cards. I think it's better to Jagged Butcher, get this 3-3 down right away where the Pilfer Goods, uh, we can kind of save it and have Pilfer Goods after Twisted Fate anyway. Even though it means that I'm not really doing anything. The world's a big place. Now. No, I don't, I don't have, no, I don't, I don't do Twitter. Just YouTube and Twitch. And I have a Discord channel. No. Alright, so they tried to sneak in the Ezreal, getting free Mystic Shots. It is not free Mystic Shot Day. To get rich. Opponent. Alright, we'll go Twisted Fake Gold Card. Kill this 3 2. All that glitters. And now, hopefully, draw a bunch of cards, level up Twisted Fate. They don't have any removal. Seems unlikely. Pretty unlikely. They use removal on Zap Sprayfin, they're not using removal on Twisted Fate. One and one. Okay, we're at three out of eight. 
Let me play a black market merchant. Yes. Let's go. All right, leveled up Twisted Fate. Ooh, with the recall? Ooh, the recall on the black market merchant is nice. Okay. Do I just... Yeah, I just, I just double filter goods. And so we still have two mana. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. What else we got? Oh, I got some cool cards. So I can go re retreat, return, and eye the dragon. It's not bad. Because this gives me a blue card, or, or like this, you know, we get the extra spell mana to cast the return. Clean 5-0 for Twisted Vibe. Oh yeah, also, oh, I forgot that we would attune from the the other card. Oh man, I guess I should have started with, I guess I should have, yeah, I forgot about the attune on the, the two drop that we're going to play. I should have started with that card, I guess. Should have played it first. Oh, that's right. Oh, I need to play, yeah, never mind. The Black Market Merchant also, I couldn't just, I couldn't just, uh, summon the black market merchant either is how I was going to do it with recall the black market merchant I I don't use that 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 uh, recall and uh, Stuff play the black market merchant too often, but no I had to hard cast black market merchant to get the plunder trigger But they conceded it's all good Worked out just fine So yeah twisted vibe this deck was pretty sweet lots and lots of card advantage um and just some cool ones. We it is kind of difficult for us to trigger the plunder for the Riptide Rex at times, but that's okay. We're just playing a lot of real good cards, um, and uh, going with that, you know, you could play more Grifters instead of more Spray Fins if you want. I like how the Spray Fin is always drawing a good spell between Get Excited, Pilfer Goods, Mystic Shot, Make It Rain, Thermogenic Beam. It's always drawing one of those. Sometimes you get this little rummage, but that rummage was, was pretty nice. It was nice having that one rummage. It's not something you don't want to like fill your hand with rummages because it's kind of a, it's, you know, it's a pretty poor card on its own. It's card disadvantage. But having access to one of them, like if Jaw Hunters makes like some sea monsters that you can't really cast and you know like you steal you have black market merchant and pilfer good steal some cards from from their deck that you don't really want to play um could do that uh yeah you could go progress day minus one and add grifter you could do that it didn't like i thought that like it like the metagame is kind of slow right now so i thought it'd be really nice to have like this big progress day at the top end but it didn't really seem super necessary so yeah i could definitely see taking out a progress day for yordle grifter could also play Yordle Grifter instead of the Augmented Experimenter. We never drew this card, um, but I, th I figured like this could be a pretty interesting one to try out as you know a draw three for Twisted Fate. Even if you have like three cards in hand and, and you just kind of use it as a big rummage, that's still not bad. Uh, but obviously, if you if you are uh, playing a matchup where you know you don't have cards in hand, then it can be absolutely amazing. Uh, being a draw three for Twisted Fate and and you know removal sometimes like they'll have like a you know Heimerdinger that you have to try to kill even though you know nobody ever actually kills Heimerdinger because there's always protection for it. Um, yeah, Grifter we went we went about five hundred on Grifter probably. Um, I don't. I think maybe maybe I hit two out of three times with Grifter. You know, so you're gonna hit about half the time. That's that's why I only have one grifter instead of more. But grifter is still really important because getting even even when you don't hit, you still create the warning shot, which the warning shot makes your Riptide Rex a lot better. 
So it's still important for that, but it's it's not something that I'm necessarily focusing on. But yeah, can't complain. Um, Jagged Butcher was great. Oh. Jaw Hunters are just really solid. Like this card's a really underrated card. This is a great three drop. That's just you know it's always removal basically. And, uh, you know, and, and card advantage, you know, creates those sea monsters that sea monsters are really good, especially this lower metagame. Sometimes, you know, you just hit like the elusive sea monster and that thing just draws you more cards. You know, like we'd play like Abyssal Eye, like that card's great. And sometimes you get Devour the Depths and that card's great. Um, yeah, Jaw Hunters is, is a pretty amazing card. All right, so there we go, Twisted Vi. And then, of course, you have, like, you know, we're doing all this other stuff, and then suddenly, you know, like, we'll have, like, 5-4 Vi, 6-4 Vi. And we saw a couple of those games, like, where my opponent used, like, their removal, used, used their removal and killed Vi, which, like, you know, which which is perfectly reasonable. Vi is awesome. And in, in like, that, uh, like, afterwards, since, since they used the removal to kill Vi, my Twisted Fate got to stay around, a little longer and then we'd get to level up twisted fate that's how we were winning most of our games is just leveling up twisted fate and then going crazy but we're not like an all-in level up twisted fate with all sorts of like you know cards that aren't very good like a bunch of fleeting stuff and rummages and just hope you know going all in like that because it's just a really fragile strategy you know here we have just a um a really good mid-range deck that has the ability to level up twisted fate pretty quickly Okay, um, so there we go. That's Twisted Vi. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. I always love seeing those positive comments and everything. You got questions, comments, anything like that, I'll uh, respond. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Twisted Vi, and I'll see you for the next video.